僕らの愛する時代劇を永遠なれ。A Samurai Movie Rhapsody Filming the Ultimate Sword Fight It's a movie that released in 2019 It was written and directed by Takashi Minamoto It also stars Seo Uchino So, this was definitely an interesting watch. First of all, if you try to look this film up, you won't find anything about it anywhere. There's not even an IMDb entry for it yet. So, I'm technically the first person on all the internet to talk about it, so it's quite the honor. Though it's probably in Japanese somewhere. Anyway, I received it from SamuraiDVD.com, and so far that's the only place in existence to get this or watch it. It's a great site if you haven't seen it yet. It just has tons of hidden gem samurai films. Many of them you won't get anywhere else, like this one. Also, you could use the discount code Bushido Blues at checkout. Get yourself a nice little discount. So, this is a really unique film because it's really a movie within a movie. And I say that because it shows sort of the inside to the samurai film industry, but it also has its own fictional story and characters. It's very similar to Uzumasa Limelight, and that film showed sort of what it was like to be the actor that gets killed. Usually, he gets killed by the main character. And I didn't realize it, but there's actual professionals that do that. And I just found it interesting because it showed just the importance of some of the other roles besides the main characters and actors in film. So, with this film, it takes place at the fictional studio of Kyoei. It's modeled after Toei. So, the studio is asked by NHK to make a new samurai era program using the most advanced technology. But the older filmmakers at Koei are struggling with all this high tech equipment. But still, their skill at just creating excellent choreography and sword fight battles are unchanged. The NHK project wants to make a historical movie about the Shinsengumi. In particular, it's going to cover the Ikadaya incident. And that was this raid that was launched by the Shinsengumi against the Imperial Loyalists. They were gathered at this inn called Ikadaya in Kyoto, and this was during the last years of the Tokugawa shogunate. And it's interesting because it shows just how studios will pitch these stories for a film and just how rushed it is. Almost no planning is put into it, they just come up with it and they expect the script to be written within like three days. <laughs> but after they start to work on the film, just a series of bad luck happens. This is mostly just because they're working with this equipment that's just way too advanced. And also because they just want to film these insane stunts, like stuff you'd see in a Mission Impossible film. And they plan this one just really big stunt, and it's for the final fight of the film. And it involves this 360 degree one cut scene involving the world's most advanced high speed camera and wire action. And it's a scene where the main character Kondo Asumi will fall down these stairs in slow motion and then come up and attack. Basically, the film is about them trying to succeed in filming the single greatest sword fight in samurai movie history. So, I just want to say that just the choreography and fighting in this film are no joke. Like, it's really well made. 
The slow motion effects are just really impressive. They must actually be using a really high speed camera. And it makes you wonder if the story in this film is really just made up or is the whole thing just this documentary? Is it like a fourth wall breaking kind of film? The lead actor in this, Seo Uchino, just does a really great job in this. He was also in 13 Assassins and also Takashi Miike's First Love. I like how in this film he plays an actor who's just been doing films for decades and he's never gotten the lead role. He's excellent with choreography and sword fighting, but his one problem is that he can't say any dialogue. It's actually so bad that he can't even say a single word without messing it up. <laughs> so somehow he gets offered the lead role in an upcoming film, and it has no words of dialogue. And I like the scene where it just shows his whole family at the dinner table and he tells them he finally got the lead role and they're just so proud of him. It's a really nice scene. <laughs> The film overall has a very light comedy feel to it, so it's definitely in the comedy genre, it's not so much a drama. And I will say some of the jokes in this actually really made me laugh, like it's actually pretty funny, so overall I was very entertained. Won't you ore no kata so if you liked Uzumasa Limelight, I think you'll definitely like this film. I recommend it mostly to just people who are already fans of samurai films. And that's because it really is just a love letter to the genre. I mean, I really love this film. It was definitely for me. And I also just think it's a film that definitely needs more recognition. More people need to see this. So if you're able to see this film, definitely recommend it to someone else because it really needs to get out there. I say this is definitely a must own. You can only get it on SamuraiDVD.com. Don't forget to use the discount code BUSHIDOBLUES at checkout. And like always, thanks for watching.